Hey guys, it's Michael Webkins, and I'm here with my co-host Mandy. Hey Mandy. Hey Michael. It is Podkins episode 70. Wow, that's a milestone. I know, we've done a lot of Podkins. Yes, and they're always a good time, Mandy, and I'm excited about this episode because we are going to say a couple announcements off the top. We're going to go through our Kins post. We are going to show off some Halloween room designs. Oh my gosh, they're yeah. going to be so cool. Of course, that. yeah, we had the haunted hotel we themes that did. came out, the Freaky Forest, so we'll be seeing what players came up with. And at the very end of the episode, it's exciting because because we're actually going to give away another community code. Oh, and you know what? We're giving away a new community code, but we're also just going to remind people about a past community code in case they missed it, because they still have Ah. a little bit of time to get it. Yeah, actually, I should mention right off the bat that the community code that we're giving away today at the very end of the podcast will be the Haunted Hotel wallpaper, which is awesome. Oh, my gosh. It's so cool. Those Haunted Hotel items turned out so beautifully. They're so eerie. and Absolutely. Creepy. And of course. In a good way. (laughs) Yeah. And you could get one of those Haunted um, Hotel wallpapers through the Halloween challenge that we did this year. But essentially, you can use them in three different size rooms because they look different. So I thought, why not? We got to give away one for everybody. Yeah, today. I, even though Halloween's over, I think yeah. a lot of people can still use it. Oh, of course. And I actually, I, I usually don't do my challenges because I'm <laughs> so bad at games. Mandy. But I know, I know. But I had to have those Halloween ones. It's because it takes me a long time to get all yeah. the game scores because I'm so uncoordinated. But they're well worth it in the oh, end. Oh, totally. Absolutely. And you feel so good when you do it. I'm like, why don't I do this every month? Because now I've got those cool items. Exactly. So why don't we just go right off the top, read out our announcements. November 1st, Cowabell, Cowaline, the current mayor of Kinsville, announced that there was going to be another election this year. Oh my gosh. So yeah, Mayor Cowbell has been mayor for two years. Of course, 2014 was the first time we had the mayoral election and Daisy Doe came into town and triggered the whole election. There was lots of candidates. It was really exciting. And Cowbell has done a wonderful job. Absolutely. And I think that she's going to focus on her studies. Well, that's understandable. Well, she's pretty young for all that responsibility. Yeah, it's true. But she did a great job. Notably, one of her big election promises that were were fulfilled was she allowed outdoor items to be used indoors and a lot of indoor items to be used outdoors. And of course, that's affected a lot of players and a lot of room designs as we see on Webkin's News with all these room design posts. So so great work. I love that you can use indoors out and outdoors. And now that was such a great promise. I understand why it won. Oh, yeah. And so this year, there's going to be four candidates running, Dr. Quack, Dex Dangerous, Amanda Panda, and Sally Cat. Each of the candidates are going to be in the Kinsville Park for one week each throughout November. And if you go visit them during their week, you can get one of three gifts that um, have to do with their campaign. So really cool. And as I said, check out that events calendar to find out those weeks when the candidates are going to be in the park because you won't want to miss it. No, definitely. And they're collector's items too. And and I'm excited um, to see who wins, Mandy. I know. I love it when players vote on stuff. It's it's so exciting. Yeah, just, just like they just vote on October 31st on the yeah, deluxe item. That's so cool. Yeah. We'll t- talk about more about that later. Um, but Maybe I should, in our next podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I should mention actually that the vote for the new mayor of Kinsville is going to be happening on November 30th right here on webkinsnews.com. And on December 1st, we'll post the results and reveal who the new mayor is going to be. So pretty exciting. It is big news coming down the pipe. So, yeah, you know what? We also wanted to talk about a code that we gave away in October leading up to Halloween. We posted codes for the gargowl gargoyle that, uh, that you could print out, cut up and add to trick-or-treaters treat bags when they come and visit you on Halloween. But uh, just in case anybody missed that community code, we wanted to let you know it's still available. It still works until November 30th at midnight when it will expire in the code shop. Perfect. Yeah. So if you want to add the Gargowl Gargoyle to your account, here's the code. It's W24TSLC6S9Z2J6 
H8. So yeah. Very cool. So yeah, just go to webkins.com, um, open up your things to do menu, head to the code shop, and right. then you can enter that code um, at the code shop and you'll unlock one of those awesome items uh, for your pet. Yeah. So very cool. So now also, Mandy, we had Fall Fest actually that ran in September. Lots of cool prizes. There was those apple orchard trees that you could get. I know. Those were a big hit. Yeah. And we've seen lots of room designs related to those, which is cool. But we actually just recently revealed on Webkin's News that if you take an apple a red delicious apple that was available from the floating leaves and a golden delicious apple that were available from the fall fest soda as were the candy apples so if you took one of each of those apples and added them to a combiner whether it be a sandwich maker a blender or a stove you can actually make a really cool sweet orchard food item for your mm. pet yeah there's three there's one from the blender it's the sweet orchard cider one from the stove the sweet orchard jelly and of course if you combine those three apples on the sandwich maker you'd make sweet orchard fritter so pretty cool fall fest is over officially but actually you can still get bottles of fall fest soda from the w shop so so if you weren't able to get those seeds, those apple seeds, and you still want to have a chance to uh, grab them before they're gone, head to the W shop and you'll find them in the new and promo section of the shop. So pretty yeah. cool. So the Fall Fest soda, that is where you feed it to your pet and you possibly win a prize, right? Yeah, well, yeah. You, you, you win a prize every single time you feed it to your pet. So regardless, you'll win a prize. But you do also have a small chance to win the grand prize, which is that beautiful apple farm barn. Yeah, that was gorgeous. It was beautiful. So there you go. Yeah. And we have another kind of exciting new thing, which is a new app in the App Store. This and is cool. Yeah. It is really cool. Now, this is only for iOS devices, which are like an iPhone or an iPad. But what it is, is stickers that you can use in chats and messaging. And it's really neat. It's some of our favorite characters. You'll recognize some. It's some of our pets. And uh, what you do is you just look up Webkin stickers in the App Store and you can download it for free. And then you can scatter your conversations with Webkins. Very cool. And some of them are animated, actually, too. They're yeah. really cute. A couple of them are handmade, and there's one of Michael Webkins and Mandy Webkins, and we're having a game of soccer. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're probably winning, Mandy, because based on your track record here, you're probably winning that game, I well, assume. Well, I, I think maybe we're on the same team. Oh, well, there I you go. Because I was kicking the ball in your direction. There you so, go. yeah. Perfect. Cute. Well, that's our announcements today. So, Mandy, why don't we check to see what's in the Kins Post? Well, we've got a long Kins post today, but you and I were really excited when this one came in. Yeah. So we wanted to share it with everyone. This one is from Dreams Do Come True 5139. Hi, Mandy and Michael. My name is Dreams Do Come True 5139. I absolutely adore Webkins. I've been playing since I was 10 and now I am 20. Ha ha. I <laughs> love Webkins. I just found an old Webkins Chihuahua at a store the other day and was really thrilled because my first Webkins was a Chihuahua. I now have a black and white Chihuahua and the original. I tried to send y'all an email, but I do not think it went through. Ha ha. <laughs> I was so excited to email y'all because I just finished a presentation that was for my marketing class in college. I got to choose a company and make a year-long plan for the company. And I chose Webkin's World. Cool. I know. I did fantastic on the project. I passed with flying colors. I wrote a 16-page paper, too, on Webkin's World, and I'm really proud of it. Wow. I know. I would hope y'all would love it as much as I loved it and loved making it. I love your Podkin's videos. They make me so happy. In the United States, I heard y'all asking if we have Snickers and Twix. We, I, I love the way that she keeps saying y'all. Yeah. They, I love the way Southern, they maybe. keep saying y'all. Yeah, Asking if we have Snickers and Twix. My favorite chocolate is also Reese's. I also dressed up as M&M's. I have never been to Canada, but I would love to. I know I have always dreamed of working for Webkin's World. I'm a good drawer and I love to write to and room design. I was wondering how I could maybe get a job with y'all. I would totally love working for Webkin's World. I love dressing up for Halloween. I am being a fun dip, a candy in the United States. I'm not sure if they have that there. We do. We do. I have room designs I could send y'all to if you're interested. Email me anytime. 
Thanks for reading my email. Sincerely, dreams do come true. Five one three nine. Isn't that cool? Wow, that is so I cool. I love that email. Such a it's such a long, full email, but there's so many nice things that were said in there. Thank you so much. Dreams do come true for sending it. I actually replied to dreams do come true, and uh, we had a little bit of a back and forth. So cool um, that they chose to do a project on Webkin's World, and that they've been a member of Webkin's World for ten. 10 years. Right. Yeah. That's, that, a... that's great. And you know what? Uh, hey, you never know. Maybe they'll end up working here one day. But, you know, you ask, how can you end up working at Webkin's World? Well, you know, I don't think there's any right answer for that. But I, I think that if you put your heart into something and you work hard at something and you really, you know, don't give up and just keep at it, I think that anything is possible. So dreams come true. If you stay true to that, then your dreams will come true. Yeah. Right and you know what? We we were so impressed. We know you have a bright future and whatever you decide to do. Absolutely. So thank you so much. And guys, if you want to send us an email, you can send it to us at podkins at gans.com. And who knows, you might hear us read it right here on the show. All right. So Mandy, now is time in the podcast to show you and everyone listening some Halloween room designs. And these are Halloween room designs for 2016. I should mention if anybody is listening to this on iTunes, um, I encourage you to search for us or this episode, Podkins episode 70 at our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash webkins so you can see the slides that we are talking about. Now, there's actually 13 designs to show you today. I thought that was appropriate because of Halloween-ish. And so so let's get right to it. Here's a haunted hotel ride oh my by gosh. ADM Trade. Now, I love this. Well, it's that wizard wallpaper, right? Or is that the... It's the Wicked Wizard wicked Wallpaper. Wicked Wizard Wallpaper, which is such a great wallpaper. And wow, what a perfect backdrop for the haunted hotel ride. I know. Ride. And look at that. So they've taken these enchanted train tracks from the W Shop and, and set them up like um, a ride. They even have three chairs on the I ride know, that make it look perfect. like... I know, like a little tram kind of thing that goes around and there of course are some of the items from the haunted hotel theme like that beautiful front lobby desk with the ghost tapping away there and um some other things but it really makes it look like a haunted hotel ride that you'd see at a theme park it really does yeah the ghost is there but i think that beagle might want to get off the tracks (laughs) oh my gosh yeah (laughs) that beagle's in danger but uh yeah and that fireplace what that in the left corner. Yes. It's so cool. Yeah, it is cool. I think that was from a previous Halloween theme. And I'm just noticing the TV too, um, right in the south corner there. That's a really oh, um, cool. old item <gasps> from our past Halloween theme. Yeah. Same with that little tombstone coffee table, I think it is right on the right corner of the wall. But really, really cool. Not a lot of items are used to make this room, but it really comes across as an awesome uh, carnival ride. So great job. Beautiful. Let's move on here. Yeah, look at this. This is a trick-or-treat room, and this was sent in by a cool ant. Yeah, that is a nice one. Now, is that one of the dispensers, that door? I think, don't we have a couple of doors that give out Halloween candy? Yes. Yeah, and that is um, neat. Yeah, you'll see that door in a couple of our these room designs here. But I love how they've lined up that door in front of that rickety haunted exactly. cottage to make it look like the entranceway. So really, it looks like a spooky street and a whole bunch of pets dressed up in their costumes going trick-or-treating. Except I'm be scared to go trick-or-treating to that castle in the back corner. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's that one's a little out. intimidating. But you know what? I bet you they give out the best candy. Probably. The I think you're right about yeah. that. Wow. What cool yard. Cool and, yard. And so many different neat trees. And yeah. it just it's really full. There's so much to look at. So colorful as well. And um, I love the arrangements. And as I said before, the little outfits that the pets are wearing. So great job, a cool ant. I should mention that all these room themes that are all these room designs that you see today are eligible to become finalists when we have our next room design award. So here we go. This one's a Halloween room. And this was sent in by five bunnies. Now. This is great. Yeah. So I said that we'd see more of those Halloween door dispensers. They're actually the trick or treat door and the Halloween front door. We released one last year and one this year. Yeah. And five bunnies have lined them up to make it really look like front walkways. Exactly. Of a, a residential street and a whole it, bunch of pets trick or treating. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love it. It It's sort of like row houses. Right. Um, Like like you'd see in the city and you're walking along and, and go up to each. That is such a cool idea. And the decorations that they've used on the walls look just like 
real decorations that you might see people have on on their walls when they're planning Halloween. Exactly. It, and and the trees there too really make it seem like it's outdoors, yeah. covering up that sort of wallpaper with that nice happy Halloween. That wallpaper I should mention is available for e-store points. It was part of a Scaredy Cat pack that we released um, when we released the Scaredy Cat Kins Tunes video. Oh, cool. So those cobwebs, they're actually part of the wallpaper? Yes. Oh, cool. Yes, I believe so. Yeah, but really cool. And they're of course, uh, there's a street even that they've set up. They put out those street tiles along the right side of the room, and those are available yeah. from the game as free. So really, really cool. Now, here's a different one, I thought, but really cool. It's a Witch Academy, and this was sent in by Husky2190. I love this because it looks a little bit like a science lab that we would recognize in high school, right? Because there are all the lab tables, but it's got a whole witchy vibe to it. Yeah. This isn't like any science lab I was ever. Witch vibe. <laughs> or almost like a Harry Potter <laughs> Yeah, vibe. exactly. The wallpaper and flooring actually used in this room, that was available from a previous Halloween room theme, but I love it. Yeah, I remember that when it came out, actually. I think that was my first year at Webkin's that came yeah, out. Yeah, it's really dark, but I really love those green highlights that are featured in the corners and, of course, and like under underneath. The floor. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, and Boring actually really wallpaper. good use of those freaky forest stone columns with the owl on it. Yeah, those are so cool with that glow to them. Yeah, I love it. And, um, of course, that was part of the freak forest theme, but it really uh, works well here. So let's keep going now. Ooh. This one is from Webby1230, and it's a Friday the 13th room. Now, of course, Friday the 13th was a movie and it was a scary movie. Very scary. Yeah. yeah. And I guess there was camping. It's been a while since I've seen it, but there is camping, outdoor camping maybe in the in the movie. And I saw one of them, so I'm no expert, but the one I saw was at a cabin in the woods. OK, there you go. It. But I don't recommend it for anyone. No. I don't like scary movies. And I. Yeah. No, it's really scary. But yeah, that's mm -hmm. a good point. It's like Every scary movie, it seems like, has a cabin in the woods yeah. in this dark forest. And so they've recreated that beautifully here. And uh, while well, I see one person in the sleeping bag, and did somebody else maybe go missing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't or know. Maybe, maybe they didn't like sleeping outside because it was too creepy. Let's so hope they they're in went, the cabin. Yeah, they went in the cabin. I think that's where they are. <laughs> Absolutely. But I love those creek tiles, too. And actually, this year... For Halloween, one of the new items we released was that waterfall that really works well with it those does. That creek. And the trees look so great together with the different oh, yeah. faces. I love that. Great job, Webby1230. Let's continue on here. Now, this is cool. This, we see one of those trick-or-treat doors again, but this was set up in a full moon castle. You know what? This could almost be the castle from the corner of that first outdoor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we saw, like, when you get up close, you get to go in this courtyard. Totally. And this is, this, that is great wallpaper. It oh, is. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so it's the full moon castle wallpaper and flooring, like I mentioned. And by the way, this was created by Teddy Bear 63. What a great job they've done. Yeah, and I love that how, um, you know, they also have Halloween decorations that they set up in the castle just to welcome the trick-or-treaters stopping by. And, um, yeah, what a cool place to go trick-or-treating. I bet you they have really cool candy that they're I, handing out too. Well, yeah, that is really a neat room. I love the way they've used those stone fences and columns. They right. fit really nicely with this wallpaper and flooring. Yep. Leading yeah. the trick-or-treaters on their way. So great job, Teddy Bear 63. Let's move on here. Now, this one's really cool. We saw this wallpaper, part of that other room design, but this is a Halloween dance on the Go ship. And this was sent in by Miss Lev. Um, is that a, like a gargoyle down in this front corner here? Because that is a pretty cool item. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a monster gargoyle. I forget how you got that one. I believe maybe it was from a previous Halloween challenge. So it's supposed to be a Halloween dance on a ghost ship. So there you see some of the pirate items that they've added, like the mask. There's the trap door kind of thing right in the middle. The Captain Dog's yep. Beard side table with the map on the the wall with the, the ship in a bottle, pirate flag on the wall. Really, really cool. But uh, also, I mean, look how they set up their pets. They're like facing each other and they're having a Halloween dance. So really cute. And that one, which might be a Sharpe or a Shiba Inu, that one looks like a ghost pirate, that costume. Oh, yes. So they're perfect. They came dressed for the party, but everybody looks great in those costumes. Yeah, totally. And there's a ghost pirate actually plush that's in the left corner of the room. Oh, cool. Well. Yeah, yeah. It's a really great job. Yeah. Um, Great job. Let's continue on. Now, this is a Halloween night room, and this was sent in by Cam Carey. Now, there's that wallpaper, uh, Mandy. So if you manage 
to collect all 12 candies from the ghost in the clubhouse this Halloween. We ran it from October 20th to 30th. You would have won the grand prize, which is that beautiful Freaky Forest wallpaper that has that haunted hotel incorporated into the design. And I love what they've done with that here. Yeah, that wallpaper really just transports you. It's so cool. And then, of course, they've used some of the trees in the foreground. So it gives the whole thing more depth. Yeah. And and the items like those are two of those uh, gargoyle gargoyles. I was just going to say, yeah, 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 yeah. So it looks really nice the way they've incorporated everything together. It sort of gives it a real sense of depth. Yeah, and I love the way that they've set up the front of that um, hotel to make it really look um, inviting with those two walls and the the owl columns that you said. And then they've left a little bit of grass, and then they've added a bridge leading right to it, which is cool. That goes over the creepy creek tiles there. But I should say that, actually, if you were to add another room to this, to the left side, the door to that room would line up right where the entrance to the hotel was. So it's really cool. I remember that. Yeah, because you showed us in the podcast last last podcast and how it worked and yeah it, it's really well designed exactly but great job cam carry on your halloween night room let's move on here there's not too oh. many more left um this is a haunted hotel room and this was sent in by buddy rudy three now there's a look at that haunted hotel wallpaper when the way it looks like in a medium-sized room really cool they it's have so neat that yeah. wallpaper they did such a good job yeah like the wallpaper looks like it's peeling off yeah um and uh, there you can see a couple of eyes peeking through but I love that bed actually as well which was available for e-store points it's animated you see arms coming from under the bed I think we showed that one on the last podcast too they've got the snack cart really cool stuff but actually I should mention as well we recently released three new exclusive items and one of them was a fancy hotel dining table so they've added that to the room as well it works perfectly with the hotel room theme and that picture I love it's like a a Dr. Quack as a vampire Quackula Quackula there you go (laughs) Dr. Quackula? Yeah, (laughs) something like that. But that actually was available around Halloween on the Wheel of Wow on the mobile app. Yes. And that window in the corner. Is that an e-store item? I believe so. I love it. I know with that spider. I assume that's all part of the same uh, item. It's really cool. It is. So great job, Buddy Rudy 3, on your hotel room. Definitely giving me some ideas, (laughs) and I think a lot of other people as well. Let's continue on here. This one's a small one. Um, It's really simple, but I thought it was cute because not only does it show off how that haunted hotel wallpaper looks like in a small room, it's just this room is really cool because you have that rickety staircase in the middle. Not a lot of stuff going on here, but it's it's a hallway that you'd find in a haunted hotel. You know what? That staircase is so cool that you don't really need a lot. Like, it's a great focal point, and and especially with... With that wallpaper and the cobwebs on the stairs and on yes. the wallpaper, it fits so well that, you know what, they took a small room and made it super cool with, you yeah. know, not overcrowding. Just it, it really sort of jumps out. And it's perfect because there's four rooms attached to it. So I picture maybe they're coming out of the hotel lobby there like they've just picked up their keys and now they are they have to go in one in, of three rooms here. I wouldn't pick the room on the right there, though, just because those eyes looking out seem a little bit intimidating. <laughs> you I think know, stick if with I, one or the other. Yeah, if I had a choice, I think I, I, I would have hoped that I would have gotten one of the other two rooms. But really cool and, and really well done, Beer Feet, because it's hard to design with very few items. Let's continue on here. This is from our friend wow. Autumn. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Autumn really goes above and beyond when it comes to room designs. This is no exception. It's a trick-or-treat room. Now, what I love about this is you see, again, those trick-or-treat doors. What Autumn has done is she's actually used some items from the Build a Haunted Castle theme to create what looks like a giant castle on the on the left side of the room. And then she's put a couple of those trick-or-treat doors in front of it. So it looks like you're actually going trick-or-treating at this castle, Yeah, which is really cool. That is very cool. And that tree in front of it is really cool, too. Now, Now, is that a Halloween one because there are some bats and a spider or is that just that uh, Autumn has managed to decorate? Yeah, and you know what? I'm not sure. Offhand, I don't know where that is from, but I'm sure that Autumn placed it very strategically so the doorways look seamless when they're attaching onto that um, castle in the back. But I just love what's happening in the foreground there in the south corner with the pets going trick-or-treating. They all have got their costumes on. 
they have a little street that continues on there with um, some more houses to go trick or treating at. Hey, what a way to get around town when you're trick or treating <laughs> in that <laughs> pumpkin car. In the pumpkin car yes. and like that that Batmobile kind of <laughs> thing there. But that looks like a lot of fun. Definitely cover a lot more houses that way. So great job, Autumn. Let's continue on here. So this one is neat. It's a witch's homestead. And this was sent in by Aqua. Aqua? Aqua. There you go. Thank you, Mandy. (laughs) Aqua. Yeah. You know what? I love um, beds that are up high. Like this one is in a tree. And you just imagine like the witch hangs around. and And then when it's time for bed climbs up into that bed up in the tree. I was thinking, and... yeah, climb up or fly up because you well, could fly right true. up on the magical room. I thought <laughs> that, that was perfect. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> they, I like how this room has been divided up into four different sections. Yeah, it's um, really well done. Yeah, and there's that uh, pumpkin patch actually on the left there as well. The witch looks like she's been busy farming. Harvesting some pumpkin. And harvesting, yeah, well, yeah, you yeah. You of need course. pumpkins. You got to have witch. the pumpkins. <laughs> exactly. There you go. So really cool. Great job. Love the homestead. Now let's continue on. This is the last one that we're going to see today. I thought this was really cool. So we've seen this type of design in the previous room themes that we were looking at. But Dragon Keeper 813 did a great job here on their trick or treat street. Yeah, I like the night sky exactly. wallpaper because the way that they put all the doors together, that looks like the row of houses. Yep. And then on the right, you see the night sky, which works really, really well. Beautiful. And there, of course, is the spree row tiles again. They've centered that in the room to really give it, as you said, a feel like an, a residential neighborhood. Yeah. But I love the pond or the stream sort of yep, theme or scene that. that they've arranged to the right. And look at that hot air balloon. Perfect. I was going to say some of the pets are going to be going home in cars, but some lucky pets are going to fly home in a hot air balloon, which exactly. is pretty fun. Now, that one was available <laughs> for eStore Points. We released it a few years ago, but again, works perfect here. Great job, oh, Dragon great. Keeper 813. Wow, those were great designs. They're beautiful, guys. Thank you so much for sending them in. I got a bunch, and I'm sorry I couldn't feature all of them here, but um, congratulations on everybody who got theirs featured. Um, if you want a chance to get one of your room designs featured on Webkin's news posts, send them to me at letsbuildatgans.com. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss an episode. All right, so now, Mandy, we are at the end of another podcast. And which means it's time for something exciting. Yeah. So we're going to give away a community code and there's a look at the haunted hotel wallpaper. Wow. That's that's the way that it looks like if you added it to a large room. So the idea here is it looks like a haunted hotel lobby or conference center. But again, the the look changes dramatically when you add it to a medium-sized room or a small-sized room. So, so we wanted to give more wallpaper to everybody so you really have a chance to build up a really cool hotel with lots of rooms. And here we go. Mandy, of course, you have to enter this code at the code shop on webkins.com yeah. to unlock it on your account. But please do the honors. All right. The code for the haunted hotel wallpaper is W24MFBG7ANAR. W W B W. That wallpaper is, I mean, our artists are amazed because it's all little details, right? Like the broken rail on the balcony and the yeah. chair tipped over. You just, it sort of creates a story in your mind. Absolutely. Our artists are very talented, Mandy. And that reminds me, make sure you tune in to our next podcast because we're going to have the artists on the show to talk about the new countryside Christmas room theme that's coming out in December. Oh, I know. And there are some really lovely pieces. Absolutely. We've been showing off those concept drawings. So we're going to get Mike in studio who has been here before. He is the artist who came up with those concept drawings. And then we'll get um, probably another artist who's actually going to model them in 3D. So really excited for that episode. Mandy, thank you for hosting this episode with me. Thank you. It was fun. All right. And thank you guys for listening. All right. Bye. Bye. (laughs) 